Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Keneally versus Rocha fight. And so, if you are new around here and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do need like video, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Keneally is 4 0 with 1 KO, and Rocha is 14 4 and 3 with 7 KOs. This fight is for the WBA World Light Heavyweight title. Keneally's last fight was a win of Ionama's decision versus Heming Gang, Heming Yang. And Rocha's last fight was a loss via TK round 1 versus Miller. Rocha is 38 and Keneally is 29. This is in Keneally's home country of Australia. Rocha's losses have come versus Miller in 2023, Jankovic in 2006, Carrillo in 2004 and Pardo in 2002. And she's been pro since 2000. And to speak a bit more about what I've just been saying, like I said, this is that WBA World Heavyweight Light Heavyweight title on the line. I don't believe that Keneally already had that title. She might have done, but it's a belt in which I think it's becoming more prestigious throughout time. I believe at the moment, obviously the light heavyweight division and the, the heavier women's divisions aren't really doing, aren't really been put on the map too much at the moment. But with the likes of Clarissa Shields fighting Lepage and Nice and also Daniels as well, Lainey Daniels, you know, there is certain bigger fighters, certain bigger names making a bit of a, a claim for themselves and you know with likes with the likes of Keneally who also from Australia as well as Daniels is coming out could become some sort of a big name and then progress that division even more. I wouldn't be against it at all. I'm all for it and hopefully we'll be able to see it. Obviously she's in against a, a very experienced fighter in Rocha. Obviously fighting since two thousand and when you kind of look around fighters, old even older fighters, I, you will struggle to find another fighter who's currently fighting now at a, a world championship level who's been fighting since 2000. I don't know if you'll be able to even find one. She's, you know, obviously had them four losses, three of them being a lot earlier on in her career where, you know, you're still early on and... You, you fight, to be fair, she's only ever fought in, in South America and they're always going to be very tough fights in South America and, you know, obviously last time out, bad stoppage for her, TKO in round one. Perhaps that shows, you know, she's been stopped in the past before, but, you know, to be so recently being stopped, perhaps that shows that her age is kind of catching up to her a bit and stuff like her inactivity as well, I mean, she has taken many different breaks I believe in 2015 she took like a seven year break to like 2022 or something like that so she hasn't been consistently fighting since 2000 but she's now been given this opportunity not declined it which I don't blame her at all for not doing it and it's a really big way to you know stake a claim for herself and like I say it's a huge opportunity for her and I'm sure it's, she, even at the, the age she's at, she's still more than up for it and wanting to stake a claim for her name in this fight, and which I do think has the makings to be a, a good fight. Keneally, as a fighter, though, she's a come-forward fighter. She'll often draw you into a fight. Does that necessarily always mean it's a good thing? No, but she is aggressive. She's physical. She's in your face, and her, the way she's thrown isn't always the cleanest, and it's not always the best to be looking at on paper if you're a, a boxing sweet science type person, but nonetheless, it's doing its job. It's like I say, overwhelming opponents, and when you're doing that consistently, if you can do that, then it's a it's a good tactic, I suppose. But you know, her last opponent, she had a rematch against her. The first time it was a split decision. I believe her type of style in this light heavyweight division, there is. The majority of the fighters are tough. They are going to come forward and they are going to be wanting to let their hands go. And when she's also similar to that as well, she's probably going to have a few close fights because she's not crazily powerful, but she does have that power in her, but she's not crazily powerful. And when these girls are, are really tough, I think it's going to make for some relatively close but really entertaining fights. And I believe, like I said, this possibly could be that, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, she's she can be patient though early on she can be patient and she can pick her shots I've seen her doing it 
but it's just when when she's at mid range she does it well it's just when she gets in close that's when it's just kind of all just push kind of force into your face she's got strong combinations she's boxes at mid range well to be fair her combinations in general i am a fan of she does seem to fluctuate them relatively well and throw them relatively consistently and like i said there is some pop in them and they're not all arm punches which sometimes you do see with certain female fighters she you can use her distance well at the same time though if she wants to but it's just always the fact of you know if she wants to and if she doesn't want to just like i say be in your face she controls the pace relatively well she's a like i say a physical present presence and like i say at a mid-range i think she's really good at stopping you from getting in and actually being able to do your work i think she's very good at that and the only times in which i believe she is getting hit and is getting caught is when she is just coming forwards and just throwing and that's when she does you know like i say get drawn into a fight and but to, to have that inner to be able to keep you out of range and make you struggle to get in it can frustrate opponents as well and she is relatively composed from the same time and she does you know like i say she can be a little bit she can get caught with being in the exchanges, but she does always seem to get the better of the exchanges against her opponents. And of course, that's all that matters, really. Negative wise, cross the feet. I mean, it kind of stands straight on. Quite a big target to be hit. Very, very similar to that of Rocha. Accuracy isn't really anything too crazy in close, especially. Her timing, I don't think is anything too crazy. As She can counter punch a little bit, but I don't think her counter punching is anything, like I say, too crazy. Uh, she's opening close and I think she's admitting it herself she puts her she drops her hands she walks forwards and she can be opening close she has her head on the line a bit at times she used to not in her amateurs but I think it has come back into being her head on the line a bit um, I think she can be predictable when it is at a slow pace so perhaps when she does go in spurts and up the pace a bit maybe that is better but like I say when she does fight slower normally at the start uh, she can be a little bit more predictable she can lean in with her head she rushes in wide hooks like i say very similar to a rotor in that aspect and that's you know accuracy wise why that can be a problem uh, and la lack of a jab less than the jab go like i say it is really good but she just doesn't really let it go and in general can be quite reckless in her work uh, to speak about rocher as a fighter she's got a high guard and you know relatively experience type style well, well like i say she's got a high guard quite a slow pace but willing to let her hands go if necessary she's strong she's physically strong as well so i'm sure she's going to be willing to stand there and have a, a kind of physical strength contest with Keneally and not be wanting to be the one on the back foot because rotary used to being the one on the front foot so you know that is two clashing styles which always makes for an interesting uh, interesting fight she can hit hard she's come forwards and doesn't take a back step i think Keneally is probably more likely to go on the back foot than that of rocha and you know unless Keneally puts rocha onto the back foot but acceptingly Keneally might do it more uh, she plants her feet well rocha and lets her hands go she can stalk you with her style to be fair and is relatively like resets well and then stalks you back down which is it's interesting but nice to see of course this is a huge opportunity for her i would believe she's going to be more than up for it but that also plays a factor of any time a fight is more than up for it and a bit of an unknown type quantity then she's going to be interesting to see how she performs and unexpected how she performs and to be fair when i'm watching tape for her i can only really watch stuff from like 10 years ago because there is just isn't really anything as of recent from her. She hasn't really been fighting that much recently, but there isn't really that much as of recent from her. So I'm looking back then. I believe she probably has slowed down since then and perhaps is fading a little bit since then. But that's what I'm being able to see. So I don't know what Keneally is seeing tape-wise. She's uh, willing to be physical, like I say, and is aggressive. Negatives about her. Uh, she has been hurt, like I mentioned, stopped multiple times now, and like I say, in her most recent fight as well, and that was over a year ago, and she, and she hasn't fought since. So realistically for Keneally, you know, home country, younger fighter, unbeaten, got the momentum with her, perhaps the bigger fighter uh, against an opponent who's coming off a loss, hasn't got any kind of momentum, a lot of things are in her favour. 
She, but like I said, that doesn't always mean that you're necessarily going to win. Uh, I think Rocha is probably going to be slower. She, like I say, is probably past her peak. Uh, she stands straight on, like I say, leans in, quite a big target as well. Can be wild, reckless, wide hooks, much wider hooks and much more arm punching than that of uh, Keneally. Uh, she struggles to find the range. I think Keneally can find the range quite well and her accuracy isn't anything impressive either in my opinion. Uh, Keneally is the favourite for this fight. I think that Keneally will win via TKO in round four. I think this could be a statement win for her and I think it should be. I believe if she goes and makes it into, into a fight, even if she makes it into a, a scrappy type fight, I believe she still comes out on top and manages to win via stoppage. I don't believe that Rocha is going to be able to deal with a physical onslaught from Keneally, even though she's has had that in the past, like I say, just now at this point in her career, I don't think she's going to be able to deal with it. And so if this goes to a, a split decision or a close fight for Keneally, it's not really the best. Obviously, like I say, Keneally's still very early on in her pro career, getting this opportunity very early on, but I would like to see her being able to get a stoppage against Roger. I think it is, like I say, all the things are there, in my opinion, for her to be able to get a stoppage. We will just have to, of course, wait and see. Then who she could go on to fight? Uh, Lainey Daniels, like I say, great option. Uh, could that be too soon? Probably. We'll see. She's fighting Oli Wall uh, in September. Uh, Shields versus Lepage and East. Like I say, that big fight. Winner of that, possibly. Kind of doubt it. Uh, or Flores. I think Flores could be a good option. She's uh, own, she's kind of only ever fought once on a bigger, bigger stage, and that was a loss to Green. Uh, so that could be... Uh, a big option. I mean, I don't think Shadesha Green versus Keneally makes sense right now either. Um, it's going to be interesting to see who she could go on to fight next. I'm not too sure. Like I say, still early on in her career, uh, so there is no rush. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. Like if you didn't, like this, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.